Well, hello everybody. So I am here with Michael, and we are ready <laughs> to have uh, peppers again. I'm ready. Are you? I can do this. Yeah, we we reviewed all those peppers like two days ago, and we like wait like yesterday we thought about doing it, and then we we're like, no. No, I'm still feeling kind of crappy. Today, you feel okay? Yeah, I feel better. I, I feel alright. I, I, I mean, I, I learned something about myself. <laughs> which is... Yeah. That a, a tiny little pepper can still kick my ass. Yeah. Uh, which A I, tiny slice of a, a tiny, tiny pepper. A tiny little piece of a yeah. pepper. <laughs> and today, we're going to try to take it a little bit easier. Uh, so we're going to start with... These two peppers, I have this guy here, which is the Bishop's Crown. It's very crazy looking. It looks like, I don't even know, like some sort of like alien mouth. It, yeah, I think it looks like a mushroom. It looks like a, like a mushroom made out of a pepper. A mushroom pepper. And this is the Bahamian Goat, which uh, is a hot pepper. But it's not like the hottest pepper in the world at any point in time, <laughs> uh, as far as I know. The Bahamian goat is between 100 and 350,000 Scovilles, which is a lot. But you know, the ghost pepper we had the other day was well over a million. Uh, a jalapeno, by the way, is about eight to ten thousand. So this is like at least 10 times as much as a jalapeno. And the uh, Bishop's Crown is between five and 30,000. So we're gonna start with the mild one. Uh, today's fire extinguisher is milky coffee. Yes. <laughs> because this is not a very good one. I'm you assuming know. it's not a very good one, but there's, there's milk in it and milk is a good one. We have a lot of seeds in there, by the way. Yeah. All right. Immediately, that is actually delicious. It's a really nice flavor. Yeah. That's um. That's like a very fruity red bell pepper. Mm-hmm. But I can say the same thing. Um. Oh yeah, and I I might just eat the rest of that. <laughs> There's no, I mean, I've said this before and I've kind of um, been wrong early on, but there's no real heat to it. I don't, I mean, I guess I can kind of taste maybe something in there, but do you taste any heat? Minutely. There's like the slightest tingle on my tongue from it, but it mostly tastes like a red bell pepper. Like a very powerful, sweet, uh, flavorful red bell pepper. I just ate that other half. There's heat in that. <laughs> um, but it's low. It's not as much as a jalapeno, but close. It tastes like a one, one and a half. To, to me, that's that's below a one. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah, I would I would definitely use that like in salads or something, or like anywhere I would use a red bell pepper. It's mm -hmm. actually a really really nice sort of uh, flavor to it. I'm getting like a touch of uh, a flavor of corn. Are you getting that at all? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like like, a little bit. That's in there. That. Yeah, touch of corn, but mostly like sweet bell pepper. Yeah. That's good. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, yeah, let's turn it on. It already smells like it's gonna be hot. Ooh, fruity. Hot. That is fruity. Mm-hmm. And I'm also getting hit by some minor heat. Yeah. Nothing like um, nothing's that strong yet. I'm gonna do another piece. I think yeah. I think I need that too. I'm gonna give it a second <laughs> just in case it, it is going to build. But. It remind it's like a little bit like peach, like a bitter peach. Yeah. 
That is a perfect description of the flavor. Mm-hmm. That's what I do, man. <laughs> uh. There's definitely uh, bitterness there. Can we get, actually, can we cut off a little bit more? Because I feel like we're maybe not getting any of the seeds, or... That piece is going to be hot, because yeah, that's, just... that's got the um, most membrane in it. But right now I'm getting like, maybe like a 4 out of 10. Not, not I'm getting, definitely getting heat off of that piece. Yeah. Now, I'm also going to point out here that I'm wondering if our heat scale is just complete uh, nonsense, because um, we, we've judged things where we've eaten a whole pepper. Like a tiny little whole pepper. Yeah. Or like varying sizes of, of pieces of peppers that we've cut off. Mm -hmm. If we'd just taken that first bite, we would have said, this pepper isn't very hot. I got a little piece of the membrane, and there is heat there. The seeds have a different amount of heat as the skin and the membrane. So, depending what bit you eat, it could be different heat. But, you know, the best way would be to eat an entire pepper, but then we're going to be like yeah, we don't barfing wanna, everywhere. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Cause, Cause, not, that's okay. not what, what we were setting out to do. But. No, so we want to like more get, you know, to the best of our abilities, um, the flavor, number one, and then like an idea of the heat. It's definitely, like you said, like a bitter peach. Um, and there is definitely heat if you get the right part of the pepper. Yep, I just so. ate like a chunk with membrane in it. Yeah, but you did too, and you get a lot more. It, heat. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that. I would use that in things. The flavor is good. It's very fruity. It's not unbearable. Uh, the heat isn't unbearable. That would make for a nice chili. Um, right. <clears throat> yeah. It's a lot like what we did just there. Is not comfortable. <laughs> I wouldn't do that for fun. Um, but to cook with it, put it in something. Cutting it smaller and using it as yeah, like, spreading it out across the dish. That would be a good idea. Getting some kind of sweat out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's building. <laughs> do you want to try the coffee or do you want to go? No, that's a good idea. Let's see if. Uh, I don't, it's like the idea of having something hot right now. <laughs> Not really. Doesn't really do much for me. I don't know, actually. I think that kind of worked. I think milk would be better. Yeah. Where would you rate this on our scale? Uh, this. Uh, the orange filly. Uh, I give it a five. Yeah, that's about that reasonable. This was good. These I recommend these peppers, Bishop's Crown and the Bahamian Goat. It's yep. an A plus for me. Yep. All right. Thank so. you, Matt. Yeah, thanks again, Matt. And uh, oh, I forgot to pitch you in the last one, but like, if you want to check out Michael's stuff, he's a comic book artist. So in the description, I'll put a link to his website. And uh, also a uh, world class mime. We might have also to, like, at some point. <laughs> we might have to have like, a standoff at, at one <laughs> Alright, so until next time, guys. Bye bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.